What's up guys, Herbie here. Uh, this is yet another uh, set completion video that I just finished. Uh, the last card came in today from China, which I'm really excited to show you guys. Uh, yeah, I started this about a month ago um, and finished it about within three weeks. So I'll go ahead and go through the cards. This is the Retired Numbers Signature Set from 1112 Limited. Uh, there's different variations of these cards. There's a jersey autographs and there's a patch autographs. I went ahead and went with this set because one, it has really good players in it. Two, there's really nice on-card autographs. Three, the designs on it are really nice. And um, four, there wasn't that many cards actually. There's only 20 cards. So I decided to do this just because it was a really sweet set and because of those reasons I just said. So, yeah, without further ado, go ahead and show you guys the cards. There's 20 cards in the whole set. There are three redemptions. So, first card over here, you got a nice Bob Love autograph, retired numbers. Very nice. Very nice right here, Casey Jones. Very nice player, as well as a really great coach. Uh, next one is George the Iceman, Gervin. Next one is Dave Cowens, another great player back in the day. Very nice one is Sean Elliott. Here's one of George McGinnis. And one of my favorite ones, Terry Porter. Uh, next up, guy nice, Rolando Blackman. Uh, Gail Goodridge. Joe Dumars. Walt Clef, uh, Walt Frazier. Uh, Thunder Dan Marley. Great power forward right here, Bob Pettit. Very nice, Wes Unseld. Bill Walton, he looks kind of looks kind of weird in that picture. Uh, Lenny Wilkins, other great player, great coach, and a weak autograph right here, but still very great player. Earl the Pearl Monroe, and the three redemption cards they were, I believe Jeff Hornacek, Vlade Divac, and Dominique Wilkins, which is the most expensive one I had to pay for. So. Yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, camera's out of zoom right now, but really happy to pick this up. Really happy to finally finish the set. I will probably not do another set for a while just because it is kind of expensive and time-consuming, too, um, because usually I'll give some advice. If you want to go ahead and start up a set, just like go up, look up the cards, look up the different variations, pick out which ones are nice looking, and then... You just start early. Once the product comes out, you just start early and just picking up cards for cheap until they start getting expensive. Uh, that's one mistake I did with my Majestic Signature set. I started about maybe six or seven months after Crown Royal came out back in uh, 0910. So, yeah, that's why I have, I'm having a hard time at least completing that set. But, yeah, that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, very nice cards. Really happy to finish the set. So, thanks guys for watching.